we've had our youth intake. Not that it means anything since this is the last season, but it's nice to go out with a bang. Oh, and there's some Dutch Cup final today. I don't know. We'll look at it. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 64, Football Manager, and our Climbing the Ladder save with the Groff Shop in the Netherlands. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you like what I'm doing here on the channel. That's the only way I ask you guys to support me, and your like helps more people potentially get their eyes onto the videos through YouTube's algorithms. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on daily Football Manager content here on the channel. So we've got a little bit going on today. Uh, coming back a little early, uh, we had our youth intake. We've got a guy that I can't pronounce his name. So it's probably a good thing that this is the last season. Four and a half star potential midfield, uh, central midfielder, 15 years old, and he's got four and a half star potential. He's got a lot of upside on him now. Looks like he can play quite a few positions, but just needs to develop. So we'll get him into training. Uh, and then uh, Leon uh, Lean Timmer, a four-star goalkeeper. So that's nice to always add some new goalkeepers into the mix. And he looks pretty solid. And we've seen in this with this club that we can sell goalkeepers for a good bit of money. And we're always needing to replenish that. And then we've got a big list of three stars. So we're probably going to sign all of these guys and then see what happens. Because don't forget, when we do end the save, possibly today, we will do a five-year sim ahead where I'll play out the next five seasons after I resign. And then we'll come back and do a five-year revisit uh, in the next episode. Uh, after whatever turns out to be the last episode. So that's our youth intake. All right, we are back. We are in the Dutch Cup final for the second consecutive season, looking to defend our silverware. Mohamed Kara in the goal, Dimitrovic, Kurdov, and Viator on the back line. Sun Wu Yang, Momsilovic, Jansen, and Demir on the midfield. Babel in the number 10. He has a fitness concern. He's just come back from injury. Evers and Dickey up top. Let's get it done today, boys. We have high hopes and are hoping to bring home some silverware in our final season. Let's motivate them. They are motivated. It is a sellout crowd. Huge stadium. Probably our third biggest crowd of the season. And we are looking good, walking out onto the pitch in our blue and white stripe kits. PSB in the red. Got to be excited for this one, boys. Let's go with the early encouragement. And it's Evers breaking down the left side. Crossed in, and Makamba cuts off the angle and makes the save. Momsilovic picks up the header. Over the top, it's Dickey! And he goes for goal. Makamba knocks it away and sets up a corner. Momsilovic whips it in. Nothing there. And it's Jean on the counter. And that fizzles out, it looks like. We've got two early shots. They've just taken their second shot. Let's give them some encouragement again. Wu Yang over the top. And it's Makamba with yet another save. That looked like a worldie, really getting out wide and getting his hand down to push that one away. And that one went off the woodwork. Oh, that should have been in. That should have been in the net. Very unlucky. Babel already dragging a little bit. Demir must have taken a knock. Babel, we're probably going to have to pull off a little earlier than we would like. And he is struggling. Maybe I'll take him off at halftime. If I don't see anything better. Let's uh, let's encourage him, and we're going to go in at half, and he's tired, but he has rebounded to a 6-5, but he just popped up. You know what? I think we are going to pull him off. Now, Demir 
potential lower leg injury. God dog it. So we're going to have to pull him off. Now, Chu Yoon had a huge game last time out. He played an 8-2 with two goals against Den Haag. I think I'm going to give him a shot here. He hasn't played a lot for us this year. Do I want Babel or do we? I think we let him ride it out here a little bit since we're having to make the injury. Let's go outstretched arms. Happy with your performance. They're inspired. All right, let's encourage him again. Nine shots, five on target, but we do come back to a PSB highlight. And that header is on target, but goes high. I am very grateful for that. Bashel. All right, we are going to pull him. Let's go ahead and bring Resnick on for him. Let's demand more. Because we are back with yet another PSB highlight. All right, there's an interception over the top, but nobody's there. Evers can't get to it. Come on, boys. I'm hoping to see something from Sun Wu Yang. We haven't seen a lot highlight-wise here, have we? And there's Resnick. You know, he's got some goals in him. There's a ball over. Good through ball. Oh, my God. We just killed ourselves. De Bruyne with the goal. Oh, that was so unlucky. Kurdov goes to clear it. It goes off Viator and it goes right to Berdiso for the goal. Oh my goodness. Um, Silovich over the top. It's Evers. And what a poor effort at a finish there. Do I want to make a move here? I think what do I want to do. It's only about five minutes early. Let's bring in Nagy. I'm going to bring Nagy in for Momsilovich. Looking outside, I've got pizza coming. All right, let's, uh, let's, oh, we can't do any shouts yet. All right, uh, we're going to demand more, and I think we are going to go attacking. I hate to do that because I know that does open us up more. We are not going to get anything. Nothing. Not a single highlight. Oh, my God. We did not deserve to lose that. That was an unlucky play that led to that goal. Oh, so we reached the final, but fall just short. And watch PSB beat us for the third time this season. That is brutal. Uh, hands in pockets. It would have been nice to win, but it was not our day. And yeah, that was that was an unlucky goal. I I don't know what else we could have done there. I think we played them extremely well. All right, so here's where we're at. Three games left. Ajax is. 10th, Billum is 8th, Vitesse is 5th, we are currently in 6th position, 4 points behind Feyenoord. So let's come back and I may show highlights, I may not, up until the last match, just to see where we're at, and if we have any shot of getting into Europe, we'll play it out, if not, uh, we'll just kind of talk about it. We'll go through uh, the end of season stuff, and um, we'll do that this episode. Oh, I wish we could have won the silverware a second time, guys, but it was not meant to be. Runner up in two cups, the Super Cup, eh, that doesn't count, but I think Dutch Cup runner up and making it to the first knockout round. Um, I think we had a huge season. We have got nothing to be embarrassed about. Let me get up to uh, the league matches, get some of these played, 
see how we fare, and uh, I will be back with you guys momentarily. So our first match is a home match against Ajax. Sun Wu Yang right down the middle, but drives it past the keeper. That gave us a 1-0 advantage. A big ball over the top. Ronnie Ebers chests it down, takes it past the keeper as he rounds him, and makes it 2-0 in a two-minute span. And then late in the game, it's Resnick into the attacking zone. Ebers one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He gets his second of the match, and that is a 3-0 victory as we dominate Ajax. Well, here is some big news. So our U18 squad won the Champions League for the U19 division. A 5-1 win over Barcelona's U19 squad. Huge performance. Our Amin El Hashimi, 24 goals in 11 appearances. That's pretty badass. Emil Ronkers, two goals, six assists in seven matches. Rossi, three goals, seven assists. Peter Schenning, nine goals, three assists. And Jan Voss, two goals, one assist for the defender. All of them playing out of their minds. That's a huge accomplishment. Evidently, we are drawing some interest with our performance the last two seasons. Uh, we've had a couple of takeover bid rumors, but uh, they have been squashed. So not putting much stock in that happening anytime soon. So just a quick peek before we, I play out today's match. Uh, the win last match against Ajax moves us one point behind Vitesse. That's who we finish up the season with. We do play Villem today which is pretty much a must-win game. So let's get that one played and look at the highlights here in just a second. So we really need to win this match. We're in the green. Jansen plays it through. Dickey runs onto it and beats the keeper. He has really come into form the second half of the season, and our fans down there in the end go crazy. Kilo with a nice finish, top bin at the back post. Kara, really no shot at that. That was a 1-1 equalizer. Dickey takes the through ball from Ebers. He's on a breakaway, and he just chips over the keeper. A deft little finish. That's a brace and gives us a 2-1 advantage. DeVos back posts it to Viator, and he slots the header home, giving us a 3-1 lead in the 93rd minute. Ebers breaks in on goal it's shot it's a save and it falls right to dickey who puts it in and that's his hat trick in the 93rd minute for a dominating 4-1 victory now here's some interesting news psv will not be taking the euro cup place due to the dutch cup victory which qualifies them for champions league so that means that euro cup spot will now move one spot farther down which could improve our chances at europe for next year and with that win we have now moved ahead of vitesse they must have lost their last match let's take a look yes they have lost three of their last five they have yet to pick up a win in their last five and we are one of the best formed teams uh, in the league at this point let's take a look at the second half of the stage uh, we are fifth in the second half of the stage after being seventh in the first half so we've done a good job to get back into it a plus 23 goal differential we are now two points clear of vitesse four points behind feyenoord with one match left to play so let's go ahead and come back and play vitesse right now so that was an interesting statistic that just popped up down here. Bayern Munich has 34 goals in 11 championship league, Champions League matches, best in the uh, competition, and we scored two of those, maybe three, forget. And then they've only con well, and then they've only conceded eight, and I know we had at least two of those. So that's not a bad performance by us. Heronveen have clinched the league with 74 points. 
with one match left to play. So if we can avoid defeat, we will qualify for the preliminary stages of Euro Cup 2. And if they beat us, then we're out. So that's, uh, that's what's on the line today. So we have something to play for in this last match of my career here at DeGroff Shop, trying to get them back into Europe next year for Euro Cup. A step back from Champions League, but hey, it's still trying to get that consistency. We're going to go with Kara in goal, a back three of Dimitrovic, Kurdov, and Viator. Sun Wu Yang has been playing well. He keeps his spot on the left wing. DeVos gets the start on the right. Momsilovic and Nagy in the mid. Jansen at number 10. And Evers and Dickey up top. Let's go out and get a victory and get back to Europe next year for the squad, boys. We're in front of the home crowd for this one. They are 16th in current form. But we have given away a penalty just outside the box. And there's a crack that just goes wide. Oh, I thought Kara had misplayed that. All right, we've given them the spot of encouragement early, but they have taken it to us here in the early going with two shots to R1. Ours was a better effort. Let's encourage them again. Not much in the way of highlights here, fellas. All we have to do is avoid a loss. So a draw does work for us. There's a cross in, and Kara comes out and snags it. I think Kara, you know, we brought him in at the transfer deadline. I think he's going to be really good moving forward. You know, give him another offseason to settle in, finish it, you know. I think he's going to be really good for this club. Well, that was a pretty uneventful half. Seven combined shots, two apiece on target. Very even matchup so far. All right, they're composed. Let's uh, demand a little more from them. All right, now I'm going to make an early sub here. Sun Wu Yang is really struggling. He's playing a 6-2. Let's bring on uh let's bring on Baumgartner. He had that hat trick a while back, a couple of matches back. Hopefully he can bring something. All right, Dimitrovic headed to the other side. But Tessie on the highlight. Oh, that's over the top. And Kara lays out. Boy, if he would have misplayed that, that could have been risky. All right, Dimitrovic beats his man. Baumgartner into Jansen. There's a through ball, and a shot goes wide. I'm going to pull another sub here. I am seeing Momsilovic struggling in the midfield. I'm going to bring Cervenka on. Not a normal sub into that central mid role. Let's encourage him. But those were the two guys giving us the most trouble. DeVos is struggling a little bit. And he has just gone down. So let's go ahead and pull him off. And Chu Yoon, he'll come on. Hopefully we can hold this highlight off. Kara goes up and snags it. And you see those kind of plays. We have not seen that from Kaiser in any season. Flick on header. That one's down. A oh, nice through ball. And DeVos slots it home. If he was on sides, that is huge. He must have timed that break perfectly because I thought he was off sides. I thought he was offsides. Let's see. Here he comes with that run. Oh, and he was onsides. That was a brilliantly timed run by DeVos. And we have taken a 1-0 lead. And then, of course, he gets pulled off immediately. <laughs> Isn't that how it usually works? <clears throat> Viator up to Chu Yoon. Nagy. Plays it back to Viator. Oh, Chu Yoon's in. And there it is. Oh, what a save by, I don't know, Ku Yao? Ku Yao, I think. We're holding on to the 1-0 advantage. Remember, a draw is all we need. There was a foul there, I believe. 
all we need is the draw. So we've got a two goal advantage, basically. Four minutes of stoppage time. Can we steal one at the end here? It's headed in by Dmitrovic, his second goal of the season. And there is the icing on the cake. DeGroff shop two, Vitesse nil. And that will qualify us for Europe for next season. Dominant performance on the numbers. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Well done, guys. A good win. We pick up $12.59 million for a fifth place finish. We also qualify for Euro Cup. Financially, that puts us up to $56 million. I don't know if we've gotten that money in the bank yet. Let's check it now. All right, so $56 million in the bank. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and look at our end of season review because this is the end. So we'll finish up things here. I do want to go back real quick. Well, we'll we'll look at the uh we'll look at it here. I'm going to kind of breeze through this, so if you want to see more, just pause it to take a look at it. Uh we're going to sort by goals. Ronnie Evers, 25 goals, 8 assists, and he was our signing of the season. We actually got a B grade on it. I like that. Dimitro Dickey, the 18-year-old striker ends up with 11 goals. Uh, for a million and a half dollars. I think that was a great buy. Demir, a winger, 3.1 million. He finishes with nine goals, 10 assists, and that was a huge performance. Baumgartner on the other wing, 2.6 million, seven goals, nine assists. Sun Wu Yang, three goals, two assists. Chu Yoon, two goals, one assist. Matthew Viator, two goals. Uh, we did get a D, D on him, so that was really solid. Outgoing transfers, yeah, this unfortunately does not sort out well. All right, Johan Case, $1.2 million. David Weiss, 675 Melvin Gerber, 11 matches. He played a 697 for Wang, Wang Zhao for $83 million. They probably regret that buy. I have to question myself. Would we have had an easier or better run in with Gerber on the back line? Or were we better off with the 83 million that we got from selling him? Because I think he would have ended up leaving at some point down the road anyway. Gear Tielman's five and a quarter million, 2.2 for Ludinho Marcellia, 2.6 for Mer Martin Check, 3.3 for Aaron. So not a bad season for selling. We were expected to finish top half. We do finish fifth, 93% average home attendance, and our top scorer in the competition, Ronnie Ebers. We get a B-minus grade from the board there. Champions Cup, we get a B grade. Ronnie Ebers had six goals in that competition, 93% home attendance. How did we not sell out Champions League? I think it was probably for the Besiktas match. That's all I can figure. Uh, and we were expected to be competitive. We actually made it into the first knockout round. That's huge. Dutch Cup, they wanted us to reach the quarterfinal. We are the runner-up. Three goals for Ebers and Dickey, B-minus from the board there. And they wanted us to reach the quarterfinals of the Dutch Super Cup. We were the runner-ups there. And another B-minus grade. All in all, a hugely successful season i think we go up about 300,000 in sponsorship 300,000 in broadcast 300,000 in corporate hospitality we go up 35 million in competition prize money mainly thanks in part to the 11 million dollars for the one uh, for the one knockout round uh, that's all champions league money and we get about uh 14,000 more in match day commercial. Still a national reputation. That might go up because, again, this, this screen doesn't change until a little bit later. Almost 11,000 jerseys sold this year. We made over a million dollars in revenue. Uh, Kernjik with the number one jersey. Ebers, Vicario, Momsilovich, and Resnick rounding out the top five.
We lined up with Gerber, Dimitrovich, and Kurdov on the back line. Kara in goal, Baumgartner, Foldy, Momsilovich, and Demir in the midfield. Jansen in the number 10, Dickey and Ebers up top. I was manager of the year for last season. Remember, this doesn't update until about another week. So we'll revisit that if I win something real quick. Uh, Demir, fans player of the season and young player of the season. Ronnie Ebers, the signing of the season, top goal scorer as well. Marcus Baumgartner with the goal of the season and Jordi Momsilovic with 10 assists, most assists on the year. Ebers, four player of the match awards. Demir, the highest rating at a 7.1. And Momsilovic completing 38 passes per 90. That was in the club. Kevin Kaiser, Dutch goalkeeper of the year in competition awards. Three goals in one league match for Baumgartner. Sets a new club record. Kara, a $43.5 million transfer fee was our record transfer fee. And the $59.94 million up front for Melvin Gerber, the largest fee received by the club. Now, they don't know I'm resigning, but they want a top half finish next year. They want to reach the second round, so we'll accept that. All right, well, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and resign. Let's resign end of club season. Yep. So we'll do that. Well, there is no rest of the campaign. Yep, there will be time. And I haven't decided yet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, right? Initial budgets, 4.2 on the payroll, 16.45 on the transfers. What I'm really looking for here is the end of, uh, you know, any changes. So let me get up to anything there. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. 6th <laughs> through ninth or 5th through 8th go into the playoff. Glad we didn't have to worry about that this year. Oof. We did get five players called up for the World Cup squads. Chu Yoon for China. Uh, Ludinho Vicario for Curacao. Mohamed Kara made his debut for Belgium this year, and he is called up for the World Cup squad. Oliver Foldy for Hungary and Samal Demir for Romania. I haven't seen any of the updates that I'm looking for just yet. So <clears throat> we're coming back for the Champions League final, Bayern Munich and Arsenal. So we lost to arguably the best team in the world and Bayern raises the title three to two hey I think we did great <laughs> all right guys well I don't see anything else happening so let's go ahead and end it there uh, I had a great time with this save I hope you guys did as well uh, please hit that like button subscribe for daily football manager content and don't forget taking the place of this on Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be the match of the day series that I started a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so I will start doing that one regular three days a week. I will keep the journeyman going three days a week uh, for the time being. And uh, so that will be what we have moving forward. Uh, I hope to see you guys make the transition over to one of the other two saves or both of them if you haven't already been watching those. Thank you so much for checking out your this series. Your support has been greatly appreciated. And we will see you in the next episode of The Other Save. Take care, guys. Bye.